With the blade Grand Centurio in hand, Yggdra answered the words of the gods passed on to her by the guardian angel Marietta. Believing the Holy Sword was absolute justice, Yggdra decided to judge the gods for allowing Messiah to run amok in the human world. Her sights set on Asgard, Yggdra moved beyond Heaven's Gate to a place where floating boulders formed the stone lattice. Once she passed there, Asgard would be within reach. As the royal army marched forward, a new force stood before them. We've come so far already. Where are we now? I wondered what kind of place the gods lived in. But this place is weird. Rocks chained together? What's up with all this? I believe this is the path to the gods. We must get through here. Princess, look! <laughs> There they are. It would seem those are the intruders. But that means they've defeated the guardian angel. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen them here. Assuredly. Still, shouldn't we get the Magi's permission? The weapon's only a prototype and the tests aren't complete. Even if it's an emergency, she isn't ready. It cannot be helped. We have our orders. And it's possible we may obtain useful test data. After all, perfecting this diviner is our main concern. There is no time to waste. You will agree, yes? Hey you! You guys from Asgard? He... he's saying something! Worry not, they will be disposed of soon enough. If you're not going to say anything, then I will. You'll pay for letting Nasaya loose on the world. Nasaya? What are you talking about? If you stand aside, no harm will come to you. We only have business with the gods. Are you referring to the Seven Magi? That's not a name I'm familiar with. However, we need you to take us to them at once. What? Even we can't raise our heads to them. You lowly humans stand no chance of meeting them. Such arrogance. Lowly humans? I don't think I like your attitude. What makes you so different from us? Either way, if you won't help us, we have no choice. We have come to express our discontent to the gods. For they brought harm to the land below and abandoned it. We cannot allow our world to be disturbed anymore. Do not interfere. Or I swear on the holy sword, we will strike you down. What? That power! That's not of the world below. How does she have it? Is this the work of the Fallen One? All right. Number 367. <laughs> the time has come for you to use your diviner. You must eliminate these intruders at once. Y yes, sir. <laughs> Everyone, provide backup for number 367. Do not underestimate them. They beat the Guardian Angel.
That the welcome party? Well, there's plenty of them. We have no chance against the gods if we're stopped here. Everyone, let's get ready. Control. At this rate, I'll be... <gasps> the diviner does not have enough power. It will be a risk, but I am raising Scotty P2's power. Number 367. I will raise the diviner synchronization. Huh? B but... <sighs> 98%. 99%. Amazing! Ah! What the? This malice. Do you feel it? What is this? <sighs> Incredible! Synchronization has surpassed 100%! Now, number 367, eliminate them. Do it! I can handle them this time! You fools! I shall erase you from this world entirely!
my power. Am I no good? The prototype diviner and my potential aren't enough? I... I must report this to... Master Ector! <laughs> it, it cannot be! Number 367 was defeated! The Fallen One! He should not have given the humans that power! I... I must report this to Master Hector immediately! We beat him. But it wasn't easy. And their words... I feel that something is amiss. Yeah, they're planning something shady, all right. I'm sure it'll affect our world, too. You're right. It doesn't matter who the enemy is. We must press on for the sake of our world. The battle won't end until we sever the root of all evil. Let us march onward. To the gods! Yggdra managed to defeat the servants of Asgard and overcame number 367's devastating diviner. The royal army marched forth to judge the gods. The gods, known as the Seven Magi, sent troops to suppress the intruders. But Idra could not be stopped. Their last chance was to unleash Asgard's ultimate weapon, the Grim Angels. Thus began the titanic clash between Idra's forces and the gods. 
the great battle came to be known as the Trial.